This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, it's a hot, sunny day, but that's not gonna stop me from catching some bluegill. We're gonna go back in the woods, see if we can't find a few shady spots, and pull a few nice bluegill out of here. We're using gulp minnows today, no live bait. Let's get it done. Let's go find us a shady spot. Yeah, right up there under those trees. That looks like a good spot. Let's get baited up while I'm standing back here, just in case I see some fish right when I get up there. If that's the case, I don't want to be putzing around trying to put a bait on while all the fish swim away. I've got a size 8 Aberdeen hook. We're going to hook the gulp minnow through the face, out the back, just like this. Let's go see if we can catch some big bluegill or bass, or shellcracker, who knows what we might get. There we go, right by that bush. Come on, let's get some big bluegill. Got him, I got a bite. Here we go, fish on, what is it? Small bluegill, first fish of the day. Is this a good sign? Probably not, first fish of the day, three and a half inch bluegill. Fish. Fish, come on. Oh, he's going in the weed. Oh, he's in the, get out of there. All right. Hey, that's a good fish. Yeah, jumbo bluegill here. There we go. Don't jump, don't jump. Nice bluegill here, eight plus inches. Yeah, first decent bluegill so far. Let's let it go. You're free. Go. There we go. Hi, I'm Alex from Brazil. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's fix up my bait here. That was a good fish. Nice eight plus inch bluegill. Tore up my minnow a little bit, but that's okay. We can just re-hook that. Let's get back to it. Fish. Feels like another decent fish. Who we got? Bluegill? Yeah, coming through. Nice big dark bluegill. Wow, look at how dark his belly is. Yeah, big dark bluegill. Look at him. Look at his look at his belly, how black it is. 
really nice camo colored bluegill here. Yeah, good fish. Those are what I came for. Nice big bluegill. Stay out of that bush. <laughs> Oh man, I'm over the tree. Got it back with a quick yank. Problem is, when it came back, it wrapped around my rod. Will I ever be able to untangle this? Maybe. Let's see if that did anything. Is that going to turn into a permanent knot or is that going to untie itself? That's a knot. We got to we got to work on this right here. All right. We're going to get this. Sweet. Sweet, that took care of it. Hi, this is Brayden from Michigan, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish. Yeah, another nice bluegill here. What do we got here? About a six or seven incher? Yeah, six and a half, almost seven. Nice fish. fish. All right, another bluegill here. Nice size bluegill. Oh wait, shell cracker. Shell cracker. First shell cracker of the day. Here we go. This shell cracker is almost eight inches. Good color. Yeah, nice fish. Well, this gulp minnow has just about had it. So, yeah, look at it. It's really chewed up and torn. It's just not staying on the hook anymore. Let's get a new one. What do I have? Someone else's line. Oh, what is this? It's bound to happen. Let's see if we can get this off of here and pull the line in. So no one else will catch it. All right, got mine out of there. Let's see if we can get this one out of here. All right, what is this? Braided line, mono, no, that's mono. All right, happy to get this out of here. Let's put this in my pocket. We're gonna throw it out as we leave. Let's get back to fishing. What's up guys, Joe here with Chat Cats Fishing. 
You are watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wow, another dark bullgill. Holy cow. Easy, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Yeah. Eight plus inch bullgill. Look how dark he is. Now that is an impressive bluegill right there. Wow. We're gonna let him go over here closer to where we caught him. One more look. Yeah. That's the perfect fish to end off on. On a hot, sunny day, you can still catch bluegill. Just find a shady spot like this. We got some logs and bushes in the water and trees hanging over the water. That's a great place to look for bluegill when it's hot and sunny. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.